Hey there, YouTube. Far North Racing here. We just finished doing a video where we showed how aluminum-specific insert tooling can be used to reduce the power requirement to cut aluminum on a home-style machine, a Chinese machine. And uh, we had a question come up in the comments we posted on Reddit where somebody noticed our mist coolant system and they wanted to know what it was and how it works and why I have that. So this is just a quick little video where we're going to show how the mist coolant system works and we're going to do a quick discussion of why you care about cooling and, and what it is the thing's supposed to do. So what we have here is a Noga mist coolant system. Uh, it's just this thing here. Uh, what we've got is a magnetic base, so very similar to how a, uh, a dial indicator works. This is an on-off switch, you just make, put the magnet down so it'll, it'll stick in place. This over here is an air valve. So when you pull this, turns on and off. This is the typical air delivery nozzle that you see on all kinds of cool CNC machines. And on the end here, we have this little uh, adjustable valve that controls the amount of coolant that comes in it. Uh, one of these hoses goes to my air line, and one of these is a suction line that goes to my coolant tank, which is just an old uh, plastic bottle with the coolant mixed into it. All you do to use this thing is you just pull the valve on and off it goes. Really, really simple to use. Doesn't use any pumps, doesn't require electricity other than the, the shop here, of course. Uh, and the fact that it's got a magnetic base means that you can pick it up, move it around, and basically tweak it so you can put it on, on your job wherever you want. And it also means you don't, you're not limited to using it on a single machine if you've got multiples. This is a mist cooling system. So it's designed to blow mostly air with a little bit of coolant mixed into it. By adjusting this nozzle, you can put that all the way up to a stream, but all that does is just blow coolant all over the place. The coolant you want to use, and I'm going to show you the bottle in a couple seconds, is a mist coolant specific. If you don't have something that's designed for mist systems, uh, what you wind up with is a great big cloud of fog. Uh, the first time I, I tried running this thing, I, I decided to use WD-40 in it to see how that worked, and what I got was a beautiful cloud of WD-40 around the machine. And, you don't want that. You want something that when it fires, it hits the part and stays there as opposed to atomizing and blowing all over the place. Why do you use these things? Three functions. Uh, the first function is cooling, which is not a big a deal on the kinds of cuts that we're doing because we're not taking heavy cuts, so it's not so much about the cooling effect. The second is lubricosity. You're trying to lubricate the thing. It is slippery. It's got kind of a soapy feel to it. That just helps keep the aluminum from building up on the cutting tool more than it is about reducing the power of the cut. And thirdly, the Airstream helps to blow chips away. Not so important in a lathe application, but very important in a milling application where you're, especially if you're doing pocket mills, where you're trying to blow the chips out of the way so you're not constantly recutting your chips as you're making your cut. We went with this one because we don't have the ability to have a catch tray for flood. Flood uses a, a pure stream of coolant. That washes chips away very nicely, but it requires you to have some sort of containment tank for it because it makes a huge mess otherwise. Okay, so let's have a look at the actual stuff. So here we've got three of the, of the kinds of fluids that we use for cutting aluminum. This is the Cool Mist coolant in its raw form. To use this, you mix it with water, and it doesn't take a whole lot of, of, of Cool Mist to make a batch of coolant in a tank. If you're worried about corrosion because you're mixing this stuff with water, I've done some tests where I sprayed some coolant on a bunch of different types of steel and left it overnight as a puddle. This, when mixed with water, doesn't rust. It changes it into something that's no longer a, an oxidizer. This stuff here is uh, really good anytime you need the lubrication more than anything else. So I use this when doing tapping or uh, when cutting uh, large diameter drill bits in the drill press. You don't have access to the flood or the, or the spray coolant because it just makes a mess and it's not really needed but this gives you a little bit of extra lubrication to help it prevent the aluminum from building up on the drill bit. And this is a, a cutting fluid, it's a different kind, it's basically the same stuff, uh, good for doing drilling and tapping when you're not gonna use the full-on coolant system. So that's really it, simple stuff. If you're doing aluminum, using one of these three things can really help when it comes to preventing buildup on the end of your cutting tool. And uh, using the, the mist coolant system helps evacuate chips for milling. That's about it, thanks for watching. Stop it, please. Don't hit me. Please. Don't hit me. Come on, man. Quit.